Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today I'm going to be doing the get to know me tag or like a get to, to know me video. I'm basically just answering a bunch of random questions about myself so that you can get to know me better. But yeah, I'm just gonna jump right in. I feel like it doesn't need any more explanation than that. I found a couple of pages that have a bunch of questions. The first question is where did I grow up? So I am from California. I'm from like San Luis Obispo, California. I'm actually from like a little town near San Luis Obispo, but no one has ever heard of it. So I always just say slow because that's a lot more popular. Where do I currently live? Kind of a creepy question, honestly, but I live in San Diego. I go to SDSU and I am a junior. I'm gonna be a senior. How tall am I? I am five eight and a half ish. Honestly, I haven't measured myself since like high school, but I'm assuming I'm not growing anymore and I'm not shrinking. I always just go with five eight whenever people ask me and hope to be around there. Tea or coffee? Coffee? I don't know what college student would say tea, but you know, to each their own. Do you speak any languages and how well? I have taken Spanish since I was, I think in fourth grade. I took it all the way to eighth grade and then I had to take three years of it in high school. And then I had to take three semesters of it in college and I'm still nowhere close to being fluent. I sound so white when I speak, it's actually embarrassing. I'm not very good at it, but yeah, I, I wouldn't say I speak Spanish though. How would you describe your fashion sense? Well, I don't know. Like honestly, if we're talking about the past like, you know, month and a half, it's been sweatpants and leggings and jackets. If we talk about before that, it's still kind of like sweatpants, leggings and jackets. Before everything happened, I feel like I was either in my work clothes or I was in like workout clothes. I would say like casual. I should honestly put more effort into the clothes I'm wearing. We'll leave it at that. Describe your first crush. <laughs> well, my first crush was in kindergarten on this boy and me and my best friend both liked him. And so one day I remember at recess, we were, there's like a big tree in our like little kindergarten yard. He like called me over to the other side of the tree and he told me he liked me. Oh. He specifically said, don't go tell like my best friend. And what did I do? I went and told my best friend and then he stopped liking me. So it was kind of sad, but oh well. What is my favorite genre of film and why? So my favorite types of movies, I would say are like action movies. I have an older brother and a younger brother and so I feel like growing up we'd always watch action movies and so I kind of just prefer those over like rom-coms. I actually just made like a TV show and movie recommendations video so I will link that down below in case you are interested and have nothing to watch. What is my coffee order? Honestly the most basic thing ever. It's an almond milk latte. I almost always get it hot just because I'm always cold so drinking a cold drink doesn't mix well. It makes me even colder and I like the foam on top but yeah pretty basic I know. Do you have any pets? Well, not currently, but I have a cat at home. Her name is August. She is great. I wouldn't really consider myself a cat person, but I'm an August person. You know, she's just, everyone that meets her just loves her. She's super chill. Basically just sleeps and eats all day. Very low maintenance cat. She's great. Do you have any weird quirks? No. Whenever people ask me like something interesting about yourself, my go-to is always I can move my ears. People are so interested in that. Honestly, I don't even know how I found out I can move my ears. I just kind of always have. My dad can do it, I know that. So maybe it's genetic, I don't know. It's not like a wiggle. I'm kind of like moving my entire scalp. I don't really know. What are my pet peeves? This is a good one. I feel like I don't have that many pet peeves, but one of them is people like chewing with their mouth open or like talking with food in their mouth. I just don't really get why people do that. I feel like it's very easy to chew and then talk. For the most part, I feel like I don't really have that many pet peeves. What is my favorite color? Probably blue. What is my eye color? Probably blue. All right, so the rest of these are kind of like boring and lame, but I found one that has 371 questions, which is overwhelming, but let's get to it. Are my grandparents still married? What? That is just a little too personal. My favorite actor and actress. My favorite actor is Jason Bateman. I don't know why I love him. And he's in like a lot of my favorite movies. My favorite actress, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe like, Meryl Streep or like Blake Lively or something. I don't really know. I haven't really thought about my favorite actors before. Who's your favorite musician? 
My favorite artist is Quinn92. He's kind of a smaller artist, I guess. He's great though, you should definitely go listen to him. I'll actually link my Spotify down below because I have like a whole playlist of like his best songs. Honestly, any song he makes is really great. Other than him, like Chance the Rapper and honestly Bruno Mars, great singers. What is your favorite food? My favorite food, probably like sushi. That also sounds super white and basic, but have you tried it? What's my favorite ice cream flavor? I used to work at an ice cream parlor in high school, but I would say like either cookies and cream or cookie dough, which also sounds super basic at the parlor I worked at. In our cookie dough ice cream, we didn't use vanilla ice cream as the base. We used like custard flavored ice cream as the base. So it just made it like a lot more creamy and it was really good. Not a fan of when cookie dough is just vanilla ice cream, which I feel like is most of them. Oh, my leg is asleep. How does my leg even fall asleep when I'm sitting down? What was my favorite TV show as a child? Honestly, SpongeBob. I would still watch SpongeBob to this day, but I don't have like any like cable or direct TV or whatever. I don't even think it's on Netflix. It should be on Netflix. I just feel like SpongeBob is such a great show. What are you most scared of? Um, spiders. Generally, I'm fine with like any bugs, honestly, but spiders, I just can't, I can't do spiders. Mm -mm. I do remember when I was younger, my dad made us watch this movie I think it was called arachnophobia, which is like fear of spiders, which is honestly probably why I don't like them But it's where the spiders get like super huge and like just attack the town and cover it in webs and kill people It's like honestly it freaked me out as a kid. Anyways, why am I talking about this? I don't like spiders. I'm scared of them. Are you a good cook? I would like to say I'm a good cook. I really like cooking and baking. Are you an early adopter or a late adopter? I don't know what that means. Um who is the best teacher you've ever had? Honestly, I've had a couple of good college professors, but you're only with them for a semester. Most of the teachers that come to mind are high school teachers. And one of them in particular was like my AP English teacher. He was just so funny. He was great. And he like, he didn't like treat us like students. He treated us more as like friends and like kind of adults almost. So he'd like joke around with us and it was great. Fun fact, Zach Efron is also from my hometown and went to my high school and had the same AP English teacher. And he would tell us that like, he used to like email back and forth Zac Efron. He told us this one story. It was right when Zac Efron got like the Neighbors movie and he emailed him and he said, Hey, look, I'm not doing High School Musical anymore. Because my teacher would like always make fun of him for doing High School Musical. Anyways, weird tangent. Can you close your eyes and raise your eyebrows? Is that like a hard thing to do? Can some people not do that? Let me know if you can't do that. I didn't even know that was like a thing. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? No, I can't. Yeah. Do I take any medication daily? Like, what is the point of knowing that? Do you have any tattoos? No, I don't have any tattoos. I want to get some. I want to get one on my middle finger that's like a lavender sprig. I don't think I would ever get like a lot. Maybe just like a couple that are like meaningful. What is your star sign? I was born August 19th. So that makes me a Leo. Is that what st I, star sign is that, right? I don't know, I'm a Leo. Yeah. Have you ever been in a beauty pageant? No. What is under my bed? Honestly, like buckets of clothes because my closet is too small, but these are like some oddly specific ones. Are you a morning or a night owl? Honestly, I'm a morning person. I'm not good at staying up late. The latest I stay up is probably like one and then I will like fall asleep past that. I honestly don't really like sleeping in. Like obviously if I'm tired, I will, but I like getting up early just cause I feel more productive. I really hate feeling lazy. And when I sleep in, I just like automatically feel like I'm behind on my day, which is dumb, especially right now since like we're not doing anything. I'm also not a good sleeper. So once I first wake up, it's really hard for me to get back to sleep. Sleeping in general is not my strong suit. What is the strangest thing you believed as a child? So this is also a weird question, but I do have a couple of things that come to mind. So the first one, when I was like probably in the second grade, someone convinced me that rocks are alive. And if you leave it in one spot, it will move because it's alive. Yeah. The second thing is that, you know when the sky makes that noise, like almost like there's an airplane in the distance, like, like it kind of makes like this weird rumble noise. Someone told me that's the noise when clouds are moving. Wasn't the brightest kid, but I believe that. And then the last thing, which this one isn't my fault, but I don't know when, I should really ask like who came up with this. I think my grandma started calling the end of bread a piggy nose. 
and I thought that was like a thing people knew about literally up until like probably last year I think I was with my boyfriend or like one of my friends the end of the bread came up and I was like oh I don't want the piggy nose and they were like what and I was like the piggy nose like that's the thing you call it and uh no that's that's not a normal thing to call the end of bread and so those are probably the weirdest things I believe when I was little honestly I still do call it a piggy nose but whatever what is the best part of my job so currently I'm not working like many people, but I work in a restaurant that's like kind of near where I live. The best thing is probably like my coworkers. And after that, just like the stories of people overreacting at like the littlest things. Sometimes you just get like really rude customers or like weird customers. It just like, honestly, I come back with a bunch of great stories. Is your father bald? What? No, he's not. But like what? How often do I doodle? Okay, so I'm getting into some like weird questions. I'm just gonna end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got to know a little bit more about me. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below. Be sure to click on the little bell to turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.